Well, Main Street in Buffalo is the dividing line, of course, of East and West Buffalo, but you may also have noticed a difference in the housing stock in these two different neighborhoods. It's a product of a long history of redlining. That is an illegal practice, of course, where residents are refused a loan or insurance because the neighborhood is thought to be a poor financial risk. Despite that, we still see the effects of it today. Channel 2's Keelan Berrien has that story. While driving down Main Street, you notice a difference in the way things look. Do you see it here? How about here? This is how redlining looks, depending on which side of the line you live. In this case, Main Road. Rosalind Bergen, president of the Buffalo Niagara Realtors Association. Part of the disparity is the education part, mm -hmm. the unknown. Says first time home buyers can get discouraged after they fail to meet qualifications like having enough money. Those potential buyers, however, may not know there are grants like the Down Payment Assistance Program or the Buffalo East Homeowner Improvement Program to help you get through the door. I don't think in my lifetime that the discrimination, redlining, all the disparities will go away. I think we have an opportunity to make a difference. Redlining is an illegal practice denying mortgages to minority applicants as well as steering those applicants to less desirable real estate. According to Forbes, only 35 percent of black Americans own homes between 1950 and 1970. Those numbers then jumped to 42 percent nationwide after the Fair Housing Act was passed into law in 1968. It decreased to 41 percent in 2017. Here in the Buffalo Niagara region, that number sits at 36% today. Home ownership is the single most significant source of wealth in the United States. So when you look at rates, you know that the black community is being excluded. Now houses are being gentrified, modernized, and renovated, raising rents in what were once more affordable neighborhoods. It's forcing long-term residents out, and Kennedy believes is another form of redlining. We always want to see investment in the city of Buffalo, but we want to see it where it doesn't exclude members of the community. Now, there's also a thing called reverse redlining that's out there you need to watch out for. This is where entities will target black communities. They offer them leases, but those leases are sometimes abusive and unfair. So it might seem like an answer to a problem, but it may be worse than what it was before. We're reporting in Buffalo. Keelan Berrien, Channel 2 News.